Well, we have reported all too many stories now, kids being left in hot cars, and we've been telling you about the danger of it too, but it continues to happen. And today, a boy was left inside of a car, and a source tells us it was his grandparents who left him there. Now they're facing charges. News 8's AJ Walker has that story tonight. What would you do if you saw a child left in a hot car on a hot day? No, I definitely call the police. I think I'd actually try to get the child out of the car if I can't, then definitely call the police. That's becoming a question people are facing often as caregivers continue to leave kids behind in vehicles in the scorching heat. They're aware of the dangers, and now when they see it, they're not afraid to call the police and say, hey, this is wrong. And police tell me it's happened again, this time in Groton. They say the victim is an eight-year-old boy left in a car by Ambrio and Maria Rondon. Sources tell us the grandparents left the boy in a hot car while they shopped at this Goodwill. Now, passerby saw the boy, called police, and said that he'd been in the vehicle for about 15 minutes. But when officers investigated, they found he had been in the car for almost an hour. Though the temperature in Groton was in the upper 70s this afternoon, according to police, the temperature in the car got as hot as 114 degrees. We have a, a, a laser device which we can use to monitor or take the temperature. But an eight-year-old can't be forgotten as easily as toddlers or infants can. Some parents say it's the children who choose to stay in the car. I don't want to go in the store with you. I don't want to be there. But at the same time, as the adult, when do you have to put your foot down? Although police aren't saying that was the case in this situation, they do say no matter what the circumstances are, you'll end up in jail if police believe you've left a child in a hot car. Police say the boy is okay and he didn't need medical attention. He's been returned to his parents. But the grandparents are both charged with felony counts of risk of injury to a minor and also leaving a child in an unattended motor vehicle. In Groton, A.J. Walker, News 8.